Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna take a look at the uh, current grand finals of the Pokemon World Championships. We're going to have here It's Exxon versus Rubik's Master, who are actually having some interesting teams. It's Exxon is more running something standard, while Rubik's Master actually has a lot of different Pokemon that you don't see all the time. Especially not seeing a Medicham here, which if you play Go Battle League, you know Medicham is everywhere. But yeah, today we're going to take a look at the Grand Finals and we're going to see who's going to be the new world champion for Pokemon Go. As you can see already, there's a W next to its Exxon's name, which means that they are in the winner's bracket, while there's an L next to Rubik's Master's name, which means they're in the loser, loser's bracket. What this kind of means is that... Um, Rubik's Master basically has to win two best of fives while its Exxon only has to win one best of five in order to crown themselves as world champions and we're going to see now how great this is going to be. We're going to have hopefully, hopefully have some very nice spells coming up here and we're going to hop right into the games. The first game is going to start here right now and we're going to encounter a very interesting lead here. We're going to have the Lantern against the Deoxys. For me it's by the way also live so I don't know what's going to happen here right now. This is a fairly neutral lead but I think it's a little bit in favor of its Exxon but we're going to see here already the Psycho Boost coming through which means Rubik's Master most likely going to swap out into one of their Pokemon which is going to be the Umbreon. This is a great call by them because the opponent didn't bring the Medicham yet. It's Exxon doesn't have a Medicham so he doesn't have a way to hard counter this switch here right now as they're going to swap out into the Noctowl which is still a very solid matchup for them. Let's see what's going to happen here right now. We're going to see actually Psychic on the Umbreon. I didn't even notice that. That is a wild. Especially as there are a lot of other players that run Umbreon right now. Having Psychic on this Pokemon is an interesting play that I didn't expect to see. So Let's see what we're going to find here. We're going to have, of course, the Sky Attack coming through from the best buddy variant from the Knock Tower. Fairly certain that it's Exxon actually has everything best bodied. I think that's like uh, their kind of thing there. But here we're going to now see the foul play coming through against it's Exxon, and this is going to do some fairly decent damage against the um, the uh, Knock Tower here. So you're going to now most likely see another Sky Attack knocking out the Umbreon before they can get to a move. Of course, those players know how to count. Those players know that this is going to do a ton of damage and also going to knock out the Umbreon here. And now we're going to see again, oh actually, I actually didn't expect that they we would see the Deoxys coming back in here as they're going to overfarm by quite a lot and we're going to see now that there is going to be the safe stop of the Sableye. And as you might have actually saw there as well, Rubik's Master didn't actually like let the Umbreon faint, they actually went ahead and swapped into their Deoxys itself. So you see the 1 HP Umbreon in the back, but this also means that now the Deoxys is going to actually still get to a Thunderbolt, which is going to force a shield from its accent, but it's locked in against the Sableye, which is a very like very um, difficult scenario here right now. I guess they didn't expect the Sableye at all, but of course for Rubik's Master throughout the tournament, the um, what's called the Deoxys defense was one of the best Pokemon. And now it's going to be a tough scenario for Rubik's Master to come back from this one in the first game. This looks very good in like its excellent favor. Having a ton of energy onto the Sableye right now, still having all three Pokemon, while Rubik's Master is facing now this super loaded Sableye uh, with their um, basically not damaging, damaging Reggie's deal there, like Lockhorn doesn't do enough damage to really farm them down. It's going to be a tough one to come back from that, as well as the um, Lantern still has enough health to survive a charge move as well. We're going to see the swap into the foul play, but they didn't get the move off, and this kind of seals the deal here right now. This is not looking good for Rubik's Master. It's Exxon is going to be able to just play this one out. They're most likely going to swap out as well soon into the Noctowl even that has also a ton of energy stored. And Rubik's Master is going to use their final shield right now in order to protect their Registeel. And this is such a dominant matchup here for its Exxon. There's not a lot that Rubik's Master is able to do here right now. They try to go for the full lock on down which was their best bet. But this Shadow Ball is going to be enough to win this first game for its Exxon. Great play there and we can now move on into the second game right now. The second game is now about to start. I'm actually curious what we're going to see right now. Let's see. We're going to see another Deoxys defense in the lead. It's going to be very interesting. This time around they face off against the Medicham which is an amazing play right now from Rubik's Master and they're going to hard counter now the Noctowl with the Registeel. We could have actually maybe stayed in for a little bit more with the um, Deoxys defense to get some more counter damage in as one zap cannon will not be enough to knock out the opponent's Noctowl here as they're gonna go for one Shadow Ball and we will see the zap cannon coming through here trying to get the debuff early on but actually it's excellent going to use a protect shield here right now 
is the Zap Cannon going to find that shield? And we're going to see the debuff coming through, which is important for Rubik's Master, taking not as much damage now from the Shadow Ball. The Rachi Steel is going to definitely still can survive this movie, and they're going to be a little bit tr in a tricky matchup afterwards, though, because then they're going to have to shield. Is this Shadow Ball going to do still some fairly decent damage? And we see in the back already, this looks very decent for Rubik's Master so far. We're going to have the Altaria, which doesn't really have a check right now, as its accent didn't bring the Shadow variant of the Alolan Sand Slash. And we're going to see another shield coming up by its accent, trying to keep Nocta alive and trying to go two shields down here, while now Rubik's Rubik's Master is going to go ahead and use also first Protect Shield here right now. As you see the swap out now into the Medicham, we're going to see the swap out into the Deoxys as well, which is going to be a great play by Rubik's Master because while you would still have the Altaria, which was also a very decent play, your Altaria going to be amazing against also the Lantern later on. So this is looking fairly decent for Rubik's Master right now. We're going to see the Thunderbolt coming through a neutral charge move here, doing a ton of damage against the... Um, yeah, against the Medicham here right now. This is going to put them into half damage range then. We will see that the Ice Punch is mostly coming through soon, but no, it's actually both going to go for a little bit more. And we actually see the Psychic here. Psychic gets less damage for energy, but just does more damage in general. So this is going to be interesting. Maybe they even get the defense drop. They do not, but we're going to see now the Thunderbolt connecting against the Medicham. And this was a great play by its Exton because he only would have got to one charge move anyway. So this was the most amount of damage that they could do. But this Thunderbolt going to be enough to knock them out. And in comes the final Pokemon, the final Pokemon they reveal going to be the lantern as they're going to now see oh they it's actually going to be tricky. They're going to go for the full farm down here, I think. It's excellent. I think just going to try to fully farm down the um, Deoxys defense here. So we're going to see the Psycho Boost going to do a ton of damage here. Another Psycho Boost is most likely coming through. But no, it's going to be a swap out now into the Altaria. Interesting play, but it does make a lot of sense. As even the Reggie is still going to be fine against the Lantern right now. And they most likely going to swap out eventually into the Noctowl here right now in order to avoid the matchup later on. But here we're still going to see another um, Thunderbolt coming through here. But it's still not over. Actually, its accent still has the chance to get a comeback here, which is interesting as now the Noctowl is coming back in. Are they going to go for Moonblast? Are they going to go for Sky Attack? They're going to go for the Moonblast here right now. This might even get the attack drop onto the Noctowl. It's going to be such a close matchup still. We see the Moonblast coming through, going to do a ton of damage, and we don't see the attack drop coming through either. It's going to be a, like it's a 10% chance of that. But now the Sky Attack is going to do a some decent damage as the Noctowl is around 1 HP right now and the Sky Attack is not knocking out the Altaria. They're gonna go for the full farm down right now. They might even be able to reach a Sky Attack against the Lantern right now. Let's, let's see, can they get there in time? They can get there in time, which is going to be crucial here right now to try to tie up this game. Let's see Sky Attack coming through here right now doing a ton of damage and we see the swap out and we see the Psycho Boost connecting here and this is going to tie the match up right now. One to one. Rubik's Master is taking one back here right now with an insane play and also again leading its trusty Deoxys defense. Game number three is on and we're going to see a horrible lead for Rubik's Master. Literally the worst Pokemon that he could face as a Reggie Steel with the Medicham in the lead again. Great play by its accent to lead back to back Medicham and now we see the Altaria as a swap here which does not want to get hit by a nice punch here. And you see the first shield coming up already here. Rubik's Master is going to go ahead and use the first Protect Shield here so you're going to get out the Noctowl. Definitely a great play for them and this looks like a hard counter matchup as you can see here right now. We of course Rubik's Master doesn't know, but we see the uh, Sableye lurking in the back for its X, and as long as they can align all Pokemon correct, there is nothing Rubik's Master can do in this matchup. Let's see if they can do it though. Like maybe they lose switch advantage eventually, but here we're going to see that they even are up one shield, so they can definitely force the switch advantage here against the Altaria with a Noctowl. But they're most likely going to invest one shield here into the Sky Attack. Exactly, its Exxon knows, of course, what they are doing. Is this Sky Attack gonna get shielded? We will find out now if they're going to go straight for it. They're going to overfarm by a little bit, trying to get as much energy as possible. As you're going to see a swap out into the Reggie Steel, they are still locked into the Noctowl, and this can just flip everything. They should have thrown most likely a little bit earlier in order to secure the alignment, but now they're still be going to be able to swap out very soon into the Medicham right now, which is going to be nice. And you know already, of course, the Sableye is lurking in the back. For Rubik's Master, maybe it's, it's time to also play the Umbreon again. 
because just like its action just loves the Sableye so far. We're going to see the attack drop here against the Medicham, which is going to be crucial as both Psychic as well as the Ice Punch is not going to do too much damage here right now. And you might be even able to reach another charge move as a Registeel right now. And maybe you can realign your Pokemon, which might be very important here. Let's face it, if you see another charge move coming through here, the Focus Boss is all it takes. And its action going to allow the opponent, no, the Rubik's Master, to realign the Pokemon, but it does not really matter too much. All it takes is just the Sableye and we will see here already Sableye gonna get a ton of energy and it's now down to Naltaria that has basically lurking there in the red health as well as to the um, very great swap there into the Deoxys. That's very very nice by Rubik's Master but it's still going to be an uphill battle here right now as this is going to do a ton of damage. But also, the Deoxys is mainly like mainly doing some damage with counter as well as Psycho Boost. So you're going to have no real play against the Sableye. We still see the Thunderbolt coming through though. That's an interesting one there. Like, it's Exton would have been able to throw already earlier. Like this, they're going to let this move go through. And they're just going to play it out as they now have nearly two foul plays stored. They know, of course, that Dragon Breath will not be enough to knock them out here right now. And this is going to be a game that definitely gonna go to its exit here right now as the it was basically a complete hard card. And to be fair, the lead was perfectly predicted there, as well as the backline was perfectly aligned. There was nothing that Rubik's Master was able to do here. No comeback, sadly, but still a great place. And we will go into now the third match ending here with a foul play from the Sableye, winning this game for its exit. And it's only one win away from getting the World Championships title. So let's see if the next game going to be the final one. And I see you then. And we're gonna go maybe into the final match and it's looking amazing already for its ex. And finally bringing the alone sense that we're going to hide before the entire time. And we're going to see now as well that they're going to bait out the Medicham here with the Armreon, which is going to be not ideal. But basically it's excellent brought a lot of Pokemon that they didn't bring before with the I guess like many champ they brought before as well. But of course the uh, sand slash there is going to be a pick that you haven't seen so far. And it's going to be an interesting one. We see the psychic going through here actually. I'm actually kind of surprised by this. I didn't even know if this is going to change the matchup at all. But that's kind of wild. I actually never, never seen that really before. So I, I don't know how this is going to impact it. I know that you're going to be able to go for usually... Usually you can even get a shield if you have like last resort on this in a zero shield scenario if you have like one fast move advantage. But it's going to be an interesting one right now. Like it's excellent, it's just one game away from being the second ever world champion for Pokemon Go. And this is going to be interesting. We're going to see the shield coming up now from the Mage As said before, zero shield scenario. Umbreon can actually flip it, which is interesting. But here we see that it's excellent. Rather go, go ahead and try to get as much energy as possible, which is going to impact now the Altaria. And I could see right now that Rubik's Master is just going to throw away this Altaria because like they know already that they're going to align itself against, oh my God, what a play. This was such an important catch right now. The Ice Punch is going to go through onto the Azumarill. This does basically zero damage. Amazing gameplay there from it. And we're going to see as well the swap in now into the Sand Slash. They know of course that they're going to run Play Rough as well as Ice Beam. A lot of people just know the moveset of course as they were already two um, days prior to play. So of course it's excellent has the information that this Pokemon does not run Hydro Pump. But we will see right now that the play rough is most likely coming through eventually here right now. As you see another drill run coming through the, its way there to the Azumarill. It's still an uphill battle for Rubik's Master. Let's say it. We're going to see the drill run doing some decent damage. Not going to two shot it though. We see the play rough now coming through. This is going to do some decent damage. And we're going to see the no shield from its action. Knowing that this is still a very favorable matchup for it. And we see as well that they're going to now be able to even take another one most likely. But we're going to see it would have a CMP tie, great play by Rubik's Master to go for an extra bubble as it didn't really help them if they went for the charge move there. Dry run coming through, but it's still so uphill. We see still a shield on its excellent side. And we're gonna see now the ice beam coming through, which is going to be a less energy move, which should knock out the uh, lone sand slash here right now. And he's still going to have the Altaria, but actually it doesn't knock them out yet. As you see now the swap into the Sableye. We could get the player through here right now, which is going to be very important. They're gonna use a shield here. And and now one Moonblast of the Altaria would be enough, but it's still so tough to get there. Let's see. There's no energy on this Altaria and just one return is all it takes to knock out this Altaria. 
and this is going to be it. It's Axon going to be able to just nuke away the Altaria, farm down the Azumarill, and this is all it takes to get world champion in Pokemon Go. This was such a dominant performance by its Axon, and he is the next world champion for Pokemon Go. Big congrats to them, but also big congrats to Rubik's Master having a very interesting and spicy pick here with like Cragsire with a lot of cool picks like the uh, Deoxys defense there. So big congrats to them for the second place as well. But huge congrats to its Axon to win the second ever World Championship for Pokemon Go. And this is going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you then. Bye bye.